You can crawl like a turtle, walk like a dog, run like a horse, and if you take lessons, you can even swim like a fish. But no matter how hard you try, you can't fly like a bird. That's really frustrating, because flying looks like a lot of fun. It's as if God put birds on the earth just to underscore our limitations. But humans don't like limitations, because we can imagine a world without them. And that gives us hope that our limitations can be overcome. So it's always been with flight. For eons, we've imagined what a wonderful thing it would be to fly like birds. And for centuries, we tried to design machines that would help us do so. In 1903, we finally did it. Sort of. Truth be told, it was a bit of a letdown. Just consider this photo of the first flight taken by John T. Daniels at Kitty Hawk on December 17, 1903. We wanted to soar like beautiful eagles, but instead we stumbled into the air and then shortly fell out of it in an ungainly contraption. The Wright brothers were mechanics, not artists. They specialized in making bicycles, so it's not surprising that their aircraft seems to have been made with bicycles in mind. Look at the wires and struts that hold the wings in place. They look a bit like spokes and frames, don't they? Look at the propeller mechanisms. Aren't those sprockets and chains? And note that there are no cowlings for any of the machinery. All of the moving parts are easily accessible, just like on a bike. When you learn to ride a bike, you unexpectedly take off, defying gravity and achieving a strange kind of stability. It's not hard to imagine that Orville, who was piloting on this occasion, was experiencing a similar sort of thing. He's up, but how he doesn't really know. Wilbur, who's running alongside, certainly looks surprised. He seems to be saying, oh my god, what are you doing? Your first bike ride probably ended in a crash. After all, you learn to ride a bike. That's the fun part, not to stop riding a bike. Orville and Wilbur seem to have thought a lot about flying and a little about landing. The undercarriage, if you want to call it that, doesn't look up to the task of halting the flight safely at all. But that, of course, was secondary to the main task to fly, which they did. Not like birds, but like humans.